Uh, welcome. I'm about to run a snake program uh, which I have adapted from a TI basic snake program from Calcutron Plus SE on YouTube. Uh, what I have done is recreate it in Microsoft Basic on the Epson HX20 and uh, yeah here we go I'm about to power on so let's switch pictures uh, first we type wind to rewind the cassette then we go and reset the counter at the beginning of the cassette then wind to 300 because that's the index at which I have saved the program and then we do load um, so see the light dimming here because it's from the same power source as the computer. I have a gooseneck lamp from IKEA with an LED in it so and uh, this this Epson doesn't have its batteries anymore so I'm using a regulated USB power supply for 5 volts uh, which has not the best capacitances, I guess. Uh, normally the battery would uh, take up the spikes. Anyway, found snake top base. Uh, let's list this on the printer for you. So you can see the printer button. Which is cool. computer had 40 hours of running time if you don't use the cassette serial port or printer from the beginning when the batteries were new uh, of course my batteries are 20 years dead at least uh, anyway uh, this is the listing I don't know if you can see it very clearly but I guess it's there um, worth noting is here uh, the TI basic program had uh, implicit uh, decisions made by multiplying with zero or or one for true or false but the epson basic has minus one for true which means i had to negate all of the conditions in the implicit multiplications here so uh, these are the boundaries of the screen and so forth uh, then we have um, yeah, uh, the rest is more or less uh, here we, if we hit the cookie, uh, we make a new cookie, we set a countdown for how many dots we should grow by, and then we will grow with those here, 
and decrease them at the same time because I'm using G as a flag here uh, since we don't have any structure except go to's and ifs so <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm just conditionally uh, evaluating this so if there is something in G uh, we haven't hit a cookie actually but we pretend that so we will still grow in length uh, otherwise it's pretty straightforward I will attach a I don't know if I can attach a listing but I've shown it here I'll, I'll let it scroll by on the screen as well so we'll set width 20 chars and uh, 20 lines I don't know but I will list it here so you can pause the video if you need to see it and uh, with the width of 20 charge you will see the lines become quite long because they will wrap around but this way you should be able to see everything uh, it's not faster than this it's 614 kilohertz clock frequency <laughs> which is very slow uh, but you have two processors one that takes care of printer and cassette and the other one is running the main uh, main uh, program so the second cpu is actually a microcontroller it's a hundred it has 128 bytes of on-chip memory for the second and they communicate internally via a serial interface uh, like 38400 board or something so that's that's also not very fast uh, let's run the program We'll play some snake. Uh, the first, it will ask you if you want a hard copy afterwards. This means it will print out a copy of the playing field after you die. So I'll try to play some snake. We get a ah, crud. I just discovered I I have um, forgotten to clear the screen. So we'll see if I can go up and fix this. So I have clear screen there and I got, uh, let's do that in line five instead. Uh, and remove 15. So, so we get the input before we clear the screen and then we should be good to go. Uh, run, hard copy, yes please. So you use WASD as you would expect. And this is how slow this basic is. Uh, I'm going down to get that cookie. And we got another cookie and we are growing a little bit. So as you can see, it's uh, a slow, steady pace. So actually uh, 119 by 31 pixels 120 by 32 pixels of course uh, doesn't really feel that small when you're going this slow but anyway uh, you can go through the walls but you're not allowed to do a 180 but because then you will hit yourself and die so let's go get that cookie too As you can see, there are crumbs left on the screen when you have eaten the cookie. Only the middle dot of the cookie is active. And you can theoretically erase the others while walking over them because they, the internal representation is not a um, based on screen memory. It's, it has an array of directions to keep track of where you've been. So we go through there. And I'll come out the top and I'll go over this way and I suppose I'm about to die now so let's go up a bit and oops too soon I died and here comes them the screen dump on the printer which is also very cute it's such a tiny screen dump so there we go, that was my game, 
and uh, actually it's a good resolution you get the one-to-one -one representation of the screen and the printer actually has a few more columns to go but this is the ROM built-in screen dump uh, yes so that was a tiny demonstration of the Epson HX20 along with a um, demonstration of a snake program written in basic have a good time until next time bye bye